Hey guys, it's Bub here. In this video, we're taking a look at Ubuntu, which is an Ubuntu-based Windows 11 Linux ISO. This is based off Linux FX, um, and in the past, we have taken a look at Windows FX 11. So I'm curious to see how this differs from Windows FX and what Ubuntu actually resembles and what it could mean for the Windows community. I mean, obviously, Linux clones have existed for many, many years, but just really how good is this one? So far, I mean, I've, I've been talking over it, but the boot up process has been pretty smooth um, with the Windows logo with the little circle at the bottom. The Windows logo is off color, which I would assume is for copyright reasons. Um, it is going ahead and booting up. It is taking quite a long time. The ISO is on uh, my SSD, so it shouldn't really be taking this long. And here we are. So this is the live ISO. We're gonna go ahead and open the install system icon which does appear to be lagging. Um, I'm also not sure how we're gonna get VMware tools on here uh, for the simple fact of, if I recall, VMware tools sucks to install um, on Linux. So our full name, we're just gonna call Ubuntu. Uh, Ubuntu, we'll take a password, Ubuntu, um, login automatically, install. And we are now installing Ubuntu. Ubuntu on this machine. One thing I noticed right off the bat, and maybe I should wait, is there is a co-pilot button. Uh, so I'm interested to see that. Um, but the slideshow images that they keep showing are like actual Windows 11 images. <laughs> like this is, this is not from the ISO. All right, and here we go. We're gonna go ahead and restart the Windows Ubuntu or Ubuntu, and we're gonna boot into it and see what we can find. So it wants us to disconnect the installation medium uh, which is already disconnected, and then press enter to reboot the system. Uh, one thing I am noticing is that the startup process is a lot slower than what you would find in you know, Windows 11 or even Windows 10. So this was advertised on the website as something that is like a Windows alternative that doesn't require TPM, doesn't require secure boot, and all of those Windows 11 specific attributes that Microsoft wants. So those were their main selling points that were hitting on the terrible things that Windows 11 requires. All right, and this is, it just opened all of this when we logged in. Uh, first things first, settings opened. Uh, welcome to Power Toys. Uh, I know that is a Microsoft thing. You're using the free version of Power Toys. Okay, first things first, let's see if I can actually change the desktop resolution without installing VMware tools to get a little bit uh, better experience here. So if I go to devices, system, display, there we go. Okay, I love that this has just frozen up and locked up. Um, that is cool. Uh, so if I go to, okay, great, display. I am really confused on what's going on here. All right, can I change the, no. Um, why is it so hard? There we go change the resolution here we go this should be a little bit better there we go and here we are first things first we have trash and Microsoft Edge obviously in Windows this is called uh, recycle bin um, down here on the taskbar we have widgets which actually that I know that Linux has something like this but the way that it opens I actually do prefer this more than what uh, Windows 11 has because you can actually drag these onto the desktop um, so it's kind of like your widget app store per se so if I want to put some clock up there uh, the clock is now in the corner although it is a little bit glitched um, next we have a cloud uh, I want you to set the location I would assume yeah that's for your weather settings uh, then you have your start menu your search button copilot um, your desktop view um, chat which doesn't exist um, then you have dolphin Microsoft Edge discover you have updates, I would assume. Uh, or that's a search bar. Okay. Volume, Bluetooth, network, um, as well as hidden icons, and of course your clock, show desktop button. Pretty cool if you ask me. Let's go ahead and take a look at the. I actually want to see. I forgot. Is Microsoft Edge actually on Linux? I feel like we had this conversation before. I think it is. Um, you know, Microsoft has been more adaptive of Linux in recent years, so I would not be surprised if it actually does have support. It does look like it is the real Edge, so let's see what version 
uh, it is 119 okay because this build actually like recently just came out like a few days ago um, so let's go ahead and open up the start menu and take a look at some of our pre-installed apps but by default I just gotta say this start menu is amazing I mean it is really a beautiful copy of Windows 11 um, you have all apps you recommended your pinned I mean I this is great all apps we have advanced network configuration Android Android file transfer anti micro X arc which is a zip folder the one thing okay the one thing I hate about this operating system already oh that's an archiving tool is when you click on something it lags I don't like it chat chat GPT cheese discover display config dolphin emoji selector find Google Chrome G parted Gwen view info center install system which we already installed the system I'm not sure why that's there k3b k k calc kde connect kde connect sms kde partition manager k mail console k torrent k wallet manager k at k write um online versions of the microsoft apps ocular onedrive only office power toys whatever that is remote desktop client duplicate duplicates of system monitor and system settings thunderbird vlc widgets ubuntu 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 a lot of apps more than what windows comes with by default if i remember correctly let's take a peek around system settings because obviously they have themed this a lot to look like windows 11 so we can see that instead of saying windows is not activated it says power toys is not activated um i don't really want to know i don't really care can you came with power toys okay so it actually wants you to enter our product key uh for power toys um ms windows support i would assume that this is wine yeah install wine install wine tricks yada 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 uh, going down we can see about this is Ubuntu uh, the free version it tells you WX desktop when it was installed and the exact time it was installed BitLocker is also a thing I mean GUI locker I mean this is overall really well themed to look like Windows I mean you've got the icons I mean you're missing some of the animations but hey I mean it, it's all there the home looked pretty good it all looks pretty good I mean you have your rounded corners um, in your applications the top bar of the applications uh, it's pretty incredible to be honest with you um, let's take a look here at dolphin let's see how they uh, emulated or copied over the file explorer and they really didn't um, I mean they copied over can I not resize it or I resize it from there we go they copied over like the desktop like the folder icons but they didn't actually copy over the overall theme and it also is in a different language music codes in a different language um, and these folders don't exist I would assume like these ones exist but those ones don't exist because they are not in uh, English going ahead and moving on let's take a look at what Microsoft copilot actually is is this real copilot I would assume it is because it is named Microsoft and if it wasn't real copilot I would assume that they would have gotten sued for that okay so it does open um, sign into your Microsoft or Entra ID account so it's just like a web app um, I've actually, I actually haven't used Windows Autopilot or Windows Copilot, Microsoft Copilot, whatever it's called. I'm not really into that level of AI, but hey, it's there if you want to look at it. And I would assume all these other Microsoft apps also open in the cloud, except for PowerShell. I don't actually know what they're calling. Pa okay, so PowerShell is just a console into you know the Linux core. I want to get rid of that because I don't like that, and I'll also get rid of that because I don't like that. Um, the search bar I actually do like this I wish Windows would bring something like this that if I press the search bar it actually opens up in the middle of the screen um, that's one thing I miss from my Mac is being able to press control space and having spotlight search come up in the middle and then kinda like this and then I'd be able to type settings like I do like this more than Windows 11 although I did just see when I type settings like is Steam pre-installed on here Steam is actually pre-installed on here. So it comes with a lot more bloat than your typical Windows 11 does. And it is uh, downloading an update to Steam. So we're not actually going to finish that. So with that being said, 
this was Win Ubuntu or Windows Ubuntu. Definitely an interesting build of Windows or Ubuntu or whatever this is called. I'm actually really happy to see that this is a thing and where this is going to go in the future um, because they've already pretty much nailed it. So with that being said, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to subscribe for new around here as you do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. With that being said, I'll see you all in the next one.